there is a sickness in the state of Texas, and that sickness starts at the very top with Greg Abbott, who refuses to protect little children in the state of Texas, whether it's at school or whether it's at church or whether it's at shopping malls or even inside their own homes. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And there is a sickness in the state of Texas. And that sickness starts at the very top with Governor Greg Abbott. On a recent episode of Morning Joe on MSNBC, host Joe Scarborough laid the blame of another mass shooting in Texas on the shoulders of Governor Greg Abbott. Scarborough was outraged that Abbott would focus on a family's immigration status over the fact that five people were killed, execution style, in their own home by someone who shouldn't have had an AR-15. An eight-year-old boy was one of the victims. Greg Abbott is despicable to imply that this family is somehow not worthy of grief because they were illegal immigrants. Little children are being shot in their own beds and Greg Abbott wants you to think that it's somehow their own fault. The governor cynically and cruelly focused on the immigration status of these poor people and that little boy that were slaughtered and called them illegal immigrants mm. right off the top. Just inhumane. Is it any surprise that we have migrants on Sunday morning, some of them probably going to church, getting run over uh, while they're waiting for a bus? Scarborough asked, with all of the hate in Texas, is the violence directed at illegal immigrants any surprise? Eight people were recently killed outside of a migrant shelter in Brownsville, Texas. The crash happened just days before a Trump immigration restriction, Title 42, was set to expire. Title 42 was created to address public health and social welfare concerns. It granted the government the ability to take different emergency actions to stop the introduction of diseases. The Trump administration used it to regulate border crossings under the guise of COVID-19 precautions. Trump's team used Title 42 to override immigration law that allowed people to ask for asylum. Remember the kids in cages and Trump's heartless immigration policy that separated children from their families? Those hateful policies were crafted by an absolute psychopath in Stephen Miller. So what we are doing is we are deploying today a, a new Texas tactical border force uh, made up of elite National Guard who are specifically trained for one thing, uh, and that is to identify areas uh, where illegal immigrants are trying to cross the border and to fill that gap and to repel them, to deny them access to entry into the United States. Abbott announced that a new Texas tactical border force would be deployed to hotspots along the United States-Mexico border. He said that they will have the equipment and tools they needed to be effective. Abbott promised boats in the water and night vision capabilities to combat Joe Biden's eliminating Title 42. Morning Joe nailed it when he called Abbott's leadership weak and that he refuses to protect little children, whether it is at a school, church, shopping mall, or even inside their own homes. And yet, unfortunately, there was more killing in Texas. A gunman killed eight in an outlet mall in Allen, Texas. Investigators are examining a social media profile that is filled with rants against women and praising Hitler. The gunman allegedly had posts about guns and ammunition. It's reported that he even went to the mall ahead of time to plan out his attack. We're also learning a bit more about his background with several senior law enforcement officials confirming that he did interact with neo-Nazi and white supremacist content online, that he may have posted some of that content and that he also read through some of that content. So learning a little bit more there, officials still are not saying anything about a specific motive yet, but we also know that found on him was a patch that is related to white right wing uh, extremism. Maurice Mauricio Garcia, the Texas mall shooter profile, had been found on a Russian social media site. He allegedly had posted photos of Nazi tattoos and reconnaissance photos from the outlet mall. The Dallas Morning News urged the Texas governor to do something about gun violence. Greg Abbott, eight more innocent people were killed. This time it was at a shopping mall. They were there simply going about their day when a man got out of his car and sprayed men, women, and children with bullets. 
The editors wrote that there is nothing conservative about refusing to acknowledge evidence or give voice to the true nature of a problem. The people who are dead are not dead because of just one twisted individual. They are dead because that person was able to get his hands on such a powerful weapon. Since Greg Abbott signed a bill making open carry legal, mass shootings have risen by 62%. Folks can open carry without a permit or license. Greg Abbott has blood on his hands. There is a sickness in the state of Texas, and that sickness starts at the very top with Greg Abbott. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.